Hello, everyone. My name is Aliyah Gowdy, and I am a senior at Nova High School. The show that you're about to see, The Weight of Words, has been performed for over 20,000 students, teachers, and administrators in Broward County. A class, along with the help of the Lovell Institute of Creative Arts and the Broward Office of Prevention, has made the show happen. We wrote it from the very first word that you will hear. We wrote every word, we wrote every song, we believe in the power of this message, and we believe that sharing it through the arts can and will make a difference. Now we hope that what you're about to see changes you so that you too will begin to think about the weight of your words. Enjoy the show. just is. I'm just being who I am on the inside. My dad is constantly pushing me. I'm sorry that I'm not the valedictorian of my class, that I may not go to Yale or Harvard. I'm sorry, I'm just you not. you got a B? Doesn't B stand for bad? Bs are not going to get you into an Ivy League college. Do you want to be a failure? It was a constant firing squad of words. Don't even look at me, homo. Or a cheers to the queer. I really tried to be perfect for my dad. Inside and out, but no one seemed to notice. And if they did, they just didn't seem to care. The, the words, words started, started to haunt, haunt me, playing over, over and over in my, my mind. mind. Until I believed it. And so I lost my self-confidence, and that made me a magnet. By bullying me? Others could feel better about themselves, I suppose. And my dad had no idea what was going on at school, or that he was even a part of it. And suddenly, I, I became, became the, kid the kid that everyone, everyone whispered, whispered about. about.
My son, Ricardo Rand, was beaten to death in an act of sheer ignorance and violence. And I must say, I'm amazed at this turnout and the outpouring of love and support we received over the past few days. Mostly because I'm so angry. Why now? Why when it's too late? Why do you all of a sudden care now? Where were you when my son needed you? Where were you when those monsters beat him to a bloody pulp just because he wasn't like them? Where were you? Where? As principal of this school, I believe that I have the authority to say that these days, people are too fragile. What is all this hype about bullying? What people don't realize about this so-called bullying is that it puts society in its place. It's like a little nudge from the outside world saying, I'm watching you, and I expect you to keep up with the standard. There's nothing wrong with a little toughening of the skin. I say the younger it happens, the better. This generation's become a bunch of yoga and peace-loving sissies. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. I am Muslim, but people use it like a dirty word. Yeah, I know I don't wear a headscarf. That's because my parents let me make that decision for myself because they know that people can be so cruel, so ignorant. I've heard it all. Hey, did your dad die in 9-11? Or did you know all along where Osama bin Laden was hiding? Or worse yet, they avoid me altogether as if I have the plague or something. I have nothing to do with those crazy fanatics that fly planes into buildings. We aren't all like that. I'm a normal kid. I'm just human. Just like the people who mock me claim to be. I have been made fun of my whole life. It's always been that way. People walk by, stare at me, whisper, laugh, and call me names to my face. What did I do? Why do I deserve to be teased, laughed at, or bullied? It's like they think that just because I have a disability that they can control me, and I'm sick of it. I was born this way. God made me this way. I can't change that. I'm sorry if the way I am doesn't satisfy you. I'll try not to be so annoying. <laughs> if it's that, Mr. Bunker, you're going to give your report next.
Two. I got this photo I snapped of Francesca changing in the girls' dressing room. <laughs> what? You took a picture of Francesca when she was changing? If I wasn't positive that you're gay, I think you had it for her. Francesca. Francesca, they took a picture of you when you were changing in the locker room. What? What? No, please tell me you didn't. Isn't mass texting such a cool feature? Are you kidding me? You wouldn't. And send Justin. See you all over the internet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just didn't want to give them anything else to bully me over. I gotta go. Did you hear or see any of that? No, no, not a thing. Sorry, gotta run. It's my only plan out. Becoming a high school guidance counselor, I was definitely not prepared for the work I was getting myself into. I think we have an issue on our hands that's bigger than we realize. I mean, are we gonna stick our heads in a hole and pretend that kids will be kids? Does one of our students have to die before we do something to stop this epidemic? I say to myself, self, you are the adult in the situation. Do not be intimidated by these young hoodlums. You are in charge. But then they come into my office, and they sit across from me at my desk, and they look at me and I'm hopeless. All of a sudden, I'm 15 again. And some thug has knocked my books to the ground to some glorious applause in the hallways. So I let them go. I let the bullies right back into the hallways to continue what they were doing. Because the truth is, I don't know how to stop it. Vice Principal Williams! Just because we're the adults in the situation doesn't mean we know how to solve every crisis. I need some time to think about this. <laughs> Okay, bro? Yeah, I'm okay. I'll walk in and make sure those jerks don't come back. One of those jerks is your brother, Kyle. I can't do anything about that, can I? Just like he can't help the fact that he hates people like me. You know I don't care what he thinks. You will. When he comes when here... When I what? Come on, Queen. When I what? Nothing. I'm just going to go home. Not a chance. Let him go, John. Kyle, Kyle, little brother. Don't you ever learn your lesson? I told you that you were not to hang out with this faggot. Didn't I, little Kyle? Now go home. Just go, Kyle. Hey, your boyfriend said go. Hey, Kyle's not a homo. We're just trying to keep his reputation clean. You got that? Now it's just you, me, and a bunch of queer names. We're gonna make a real man out of you. Yeah, consider it a favor. <laughs>
which your courage to express yourself gave you more peace than being undercover. This world fears what it cannot understand, and in its lack of understanding, they set out to annihilate what they fear. Stop! Let's get out of here! Sexual differences are commonly not accepted, but what if it was your blood that the pavement met with? and death of local high school student Ricardo ran two weeks ago. Local politicians have been diligently working on a new legislation to end bullying once and for all. So today they launched their bold new campaign. The mayor has gathered the town council and they are about to reveal their well thought plan. Ah, here they are now. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for gathering here at the town hall today. <laughs> Hi, how are you? While there is no way to deny this tragedy occurred, we're going to do our best to make you forget it even happened during our time in office. So, just as when anything in our society goes awry, we, the people in the position of authority, have started a new initiative that will have no effect whatsoever on the actual problem at hand. But darn, it sound good in our campaigns and get us tons of votes! Yay! for each other. Record sales of engagement rings have been recorded, and the locals are even being nice to the politicians.
Campbell, the citizens have taken the Kill Them With Kindness campaign to heart. Literally. Kill Them With Kindness! of their classmate, Ricardo Rand, a group of high school students have come to Washington, D.C. today to talk to the House of Representatives. Empowered by their devoted vice principal, they have come to share a message about bullying that they feel is often overlooked. Now let's go to the House of Representatives and see what they have to say. Garbage trucks. 
They go through their days, their weeks, their years, their lives, collecting all the words and feelings placed upon them. But if you're like me, in order to protect yourself, you throw them back at other people. Some are able to shake it off, but then most are so overcome by the filth that surrounds them until they're simply consumed. See, I bully because I was bullied, and it's the only way I feel somewhat powerful. Francesca, I know you're still upset about that boy dying, but is it worth ruining your entire future over it? He's gone. You're not. People are like garbage trucks. Check out this photo I took. You don't want to kill you. Jessica. Is it nice to take your second part of his death? He's gone. You're not. See him all over the internet. Pretends to be fine, beautiful, but she can't see it. Intelligent and loved, but she can't feel it. She's been tortured, mocked, made fun of, and pushed too hard. If only her dad could understand. She wished she could disappear. Today is the day she gives up. Seeing nowhere to turn, she says goodbye. didn't mean to kill him. It was just a, hey, let's meet up at the school and take care of this faggot that's been bringing my brother's reputation down. It got out of hand. But I guess that doesn't really matter now, does it? 
because now I'll be haunted for the rest of my life and no amount of pain or punishment will bring him back or take the horrible image of him just laying there. Oh God, I not only lost my friend, I lost my brother. 25 years of life in prison. And I might as well have lost my parents too because they're just devastated. For what reason? I'm still trying to come to terms with the fact that nobody meant for this to happen, but yet it did. Just because some people didn't realize how the hateful words would turn into violent actions with horrible consequences. And smiles are plastered on their faces, trying to erase the traces of sadness and violence they bear. He looks into Please stay with me. 